uh, distortion. I need a clean sound. Okay, this is gonna be better. So. Just index, just middle. Can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Perfect. Thank you, Skype. So the struggle that you were having just caused because of your thumb location. So the thumb was up on the guitar and stretch will be very hard. If you take your thumb all the way down, you're going to see that the stretches will be way easier. But of course, your fingers will get tired or will improve more, actually but the positioning will be easier. And this is what we are looking for. We are looking for, for our fingers, like looking up, not to do like at this angle. Right, okay, right. Not, not like an angle like this. Not this, let's say we are soloing almost always like this, isn't it? So right. my fingers looking this direction, but when you practice, try this, fingers looking up. Because that means your fingers working more and improving more. Okay. So every little detail is important because when we practice for one hour, we want to improve for one hour. So that we are trying to take the efficiency all the way up so we can improve, you know, right. faster and better. Right. Okay, now let's try this one. All right, so um... slow and these exercises you have to practice slow. We are not looking for 200 BPM for these exercises because when you practice fast, these exercises getting easier. So if you practice slow, you will gain more. Okay. Yeah, try to use the tip of the pinky. Okay. Um. Yeah, one finger at a time. Okay. So what we are seeing again, 40 BPM is not slow, right? Which, which is strange, but yes, it uh, is. Yeah. And your pinky is like this. So these two joints are stable and you are curving the top one. Okay. So what we need, we need, we want to curve this guy too. Okay. Yes. So, so how are you going to manage that? So you're going to raise pink side of the hand. So it's not just this, it's something like this. Okay, you uh -huh. raise the pink side. Yes, a little bit. Okay. But not from the wrist, not from here like this, not this, this. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, but it will take some time, of course for you to right. get perfect look positioning. So that's why we are practicing these exercises. But right. you get this too. Yes. Um. So are you comfortable with 
bar chords? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, let's try this. Just a second, I need to find this exercise. So we're gonna play another finger independency uh, exercise. Um, yeah, I have like millions of exercises. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it takes time to okay. find. Yeah, you can try to play spider at that time till I find the exercise. Okay. I sent you a JPEG. So okay. This exercise is like this. And the first one is uh, just E major. Again, the thumb, not top of the guitar, back of the guitar. So I'm starting my middle finger up. So I'm playing open string A and then using my middle finger as a second fret. And then I'm raising my ring and then index and then ring. Okay. Let's Are you trying that. to record? Uh, I'm trying to get uh, trying to get you up and the tab at the same time. I'm having trouble with it. Yeah, just let me know when you. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, for some reason, I can't get you and the tab both up at the same time now. <laughs> um, so where you are now? I mean, on the screen. Um, let's see. Do, um, do you see my little image? Uh, do not. I was a while ago, but now I don't see it. Well, the, I got the tab on the full screen right now. Double click, maybe it works. Okay, that zoomed in on the tab. Let me switch to where I've got you up. Okay, I see you in a, a small window. Click on me on small window, maybe double click. I uh, did that and it pulled the tab up again. Mm. Uh, you can call me again. Maybe that will work. Okay, let's try that. Okay. 